Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new collection update here on Vital Vinyl Vlog. We have some viewer mail. We have a gnarly vinyl package from James at Transylvanian Recordings. Infernal hails and gratitude to everyone who watches and supports the channel. We're going to be blasting one of the viewer sent cassettes, which is None Slaughter Hex. Hell yeah. I haven't owned this in years. Like, legit years. Since the Skeleton Proof Tanks, like, days. Although we listen to GOAT way more than we listen to Hex. GOAT was just, like, I remember trying to get everybody, like, you know, check out Nun Slaughter. Check out Nun Slaughter. And then there was that infamous Philly barbecue show. Uh, but even after that, I just remember being like, yo, like, check out Nun Slaughter. And when this came out and whatnot, I just remember being like, Hell yeah. Like, this is sick, you know? Like, some new nun slaughter. And then, a couple months later, we went our separate ways as a band, but nun slaughter just continue to this day making some of the most blasphemous top shelf tunes in the underground. I don't even know, when it comes down to it, how many versions of Hex, Goat, holy shit. I mean, even like the Christmas 12-inch, there's so much in the Nun Slaughter discography that if you are a completionist, nothing but props, because... Holy shit, you have a lot of 7 inches, cassettes, 12 inches, maxi singles, etc, etc. I don't know what you're... If you're a vinyl person, I'm pretty sure like some nun, like some nun slaughter releases are like... It's mostly vinyl, if I remember correctly. Like, that's their go-to, but I'm not, and I know they have CDs, I know I, I, we're listening to a cassette right now, if my knee wasn't, there it is, this bad boy on Gurgling Gore is so good, uh, the Denied EP, Kiss the Goat. But I remember being like, whoa, Nun Slaughter and Gurgling Gore? Like, sick. But when it comes to Nun Slaughter, like, I had actually been, li I should have grabbed it. Uh, Spawn of Satan stuff. Uh, it's, I, I always forget if it's pre Nun Slaughter or not, but I know it's the first. Hell's Headbangers release. I have that cassette, the reissue that Head Split did. I'm just trying to... I know it's over there. I just know if I get up, it's going to fuck everything up. Fuck. I want, here it is. Boom. Oh. Now, if you don't know what's in my hands right now, and you say that you are a Nun Slaughter fan, I feel like you, you you know what this is. You better have heard it before. And yeah, I'm gonna pull that card here because this is one of those, you know, like I would love this on wax, but like. 
You got Jim Satanic on vocals and lyrics, Chris Dora on drums, Reaper on bass, and all guitars by Wayne Richards. And this is a collection of uh, Bloodsick and Sinister Forces. And I think you get like some live tracks and rehearsal. Yep. But uh, rest in peace, Jim. Because I know when it comes to nun slaughter and stuff, everybody always throws Dawn of the Dead out there, which is completely understandable. But um, Jim is such an important part of, you know, the history of nun slaughter, in my opinion, personally. That's just my opinion. But. Let me read this real quick, as it's kind of important. Spawn was a satanic envisionment of mine since the year 1989. I was trying to assemble a demonic death thrash outfit with a couple of guys from a local cra crossover band. We wrote and haphazardly recorded some material, but as time passed, our ties grew weak as members went off to school and moved away. I have been chasing this dream for 13 years. I followed the lead guitarist out to a college town and began writing and rehearsing again in late 1993. This will continue for about a year until I graduated from the university in the town known as Kent, Ohio. When I lived there, I met Wayne Richards, an enthusiastic aspiring metal guitarist. He was with the band today and is the force behind the music. Chris Dora and Wayne collaborated with me and wrote five thrash tunes. I felt it was only fair to have them involved in some of the writing. The older material took a seat in the back of the bus, so to speak. I do this band and others to broaden my creative horizons and express my love and adoration to the very best thing about this world, metal. I joined Nun Slaughter in 1995. I was an instant fan of the band's primitive and raw approach to death metal. It was about the same time SOS began, which was then called Spawn. But because of all the others that have used it, we have added Of Satan. Um, but uh, it was about the same time SOS began that I first heard Nun Slaughter's first demo. I have compiled cassette tapes of songs that are not yet completed lyrically. What you are hearing is a lot of ad-libbing, ad some actually written lyrics, and some satanic influences from several foul spirits driving me into fits of unholy possession. I truly... Most love the satanic things. The seduction of the succubus in its complete form will be a right, you hound of hell. Jim Sadist, a.k.a. Jim Satanic, Anno 2002. So I just wanted to share this with you folks as really gnarly stuff. Ritual Murder also was released as a split 7-inch with Satanus, Satanus, I'm sorry, by Hell's Headbangers Records in uh, 2010, which were intended to be on a split with Insanity. You got some lyrics written by Dawn of the Dead. D Dawn of the Dead, I'm sorry. But yeah, just really sick shit, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's yeah, 22 tracks total. It's just it's just sick. Highly essential, in my opinion. If you're a fan of Nun Slaughter, you need this. Um, again, I'm pretty sure this is the first ever Hell's Headbanger CD. I forget. I know Justin like made mention of it, but this version of Hex is oldtemple.com. 
But you got this is fucking war. I hate Christians, pirates of the file, immortalized, ogreish, unbaptized, hex. Smell the burning churches. Face of evil, Lucifer, my evil concubine, slaughter the heavens, no place for the cross, rebuilding Sodom, riders of the apocalypse, power of darkness and necromancy. Hex produced by Dawn, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Really awesome stuff here. And we have Jim Sadis on Violent Cadence, Reaper, All Evil Tones, and Dawn of the Dead on Shrieks. I know there's multiple covers for this album. Sounds great on tape, by the way. And it is time for a gnarly Transylvanian Recordings haul. Thanks to James. But stickers and stuff will be going to the October patron prize package. Including Slasher Dave, The Horrors of Hell House. Matches. I forget if they were numbered. No. But. Yeah. Awesome gimmick item. Right in time for Halloween. Well, I by the time November 5th. But still it goes with the Halloween prize package. Including this Hell's Headbangers Volume 10 comp. You get tracks from Nunslaughter, Unlord, Manacore, Druid Lord, Spider, Acid Witch, per Paradition Temple, Church of Disgust, Fluid, Morgue, just to name a few. 20 songs total on CD. You get that nice, I'm telling you, it's a very cannibal corpse and just death metal inspired prize package this month. Well, Repulsion Horrified Grind. Also, we have that Fumes of Decay tape as well. But some black metal in the horns and hooves t-shirt. Tons of stickers, magazines. Blood Incantation poster. Yeah. So now let's check. Uh, like this isn't even remotely close to everything you're winning this month. Because I just don't feel like pulling everything out. But... That Blood Incantation poster from Absolute Everywhere. And that Horns and Hooves shirt is double sided. First press of Cannibal Corpse Butchered at Birth. And remember, this is part of the prize package 2019. Cannibal Corpse Eating Back to Life. Brand new Repulsion Horrified patch. And more and more. And there's so many stickers. Including this. Only comes with the box set. For the early days of cannibalism. Also, Dead by Dog. J-Dog's Fest. I know these are pretty much... If you live in some of the surrounding states and place a big boy order through hells you get one of these so thrown in with all the other goodies and i'll show you the horns and hooves shirt real quick let me just make sure everything's good and I'll, again i'm gonna be throwing in some bonus stuff if we get some new patrons and stuff. 
And this is a large comfort cover, comfort colors. It's just fair. I have two of these. This one's a little bit larger for a large. But again, I figured I'd hook you maniacs up. Spectral voyeurism. Hell yeah. Keeping it fucking evil for you folks. Some back issues of Decibel and more. But we also got a gnarly, gnarly vinyl package from Transylvanian Recordings, including tons of Halloween prizes, which, um, no pun intended, which you will, um, also be getting as a bonus prize pack. But, I don't know if I'm really allowed to show... I could show this one, but I don't know if I'm allowed to show the others. But, let's read what James has to say. Here's a bunch of gnarly records I thought you might dig. The next few years are going to be insane for the label. Yeah, I, I, I agree as well. And what I'm cooking up, also, check out before anyone else, two new label logos I just got from an artist that actually lives in Transylvania, Transylvania proper. Best wishes. So, these, uh, I was like legit, ow, so stoked when I saw this stuff, but. Real quick. Nice tape reissue 2023. OLD 203. I never heard of this label, but yeah. If they're doing non slaughter reissues, sip. So, now. I don't know if I'm allowed to show these, so just really quick. Well, it's Halloween time. Just real quick. That is so badass. With the pumpkin. And this I legit love. Like, I, I really love this one, James. And holy shit. Please use, seriously, for all, like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. From Transylvanian tapes to Transylvanian recordings. I, I love when I see, like, my friends, you know, uh, like, just for example, real quick. I I'm just going to grab a, two of my favorite Transylvanian tapes releases by Kaufa. Kaffa, Kaffa, I always forget. But pre evolves also pre-Transylvanian recordings. It was Transylvanian tapes still. And this is just so good. This is an old Transylvanian tapes logo. Transylvanian tapes number two. Whoa. Holy shit, I didn't know that was number two. But James did say, he's like, you probably have, aside from me, the sickest Transylvanian tapes collection. But look at that Transylvanian tapes logo. Sick. And this is, if you don't know what's in my hands right now, again, if I had a record label... Guess what would be a 12 inch? These two together. Also, just, it's right here. I would 100% do a 12 inch of Terminal Perversion by Necro Drunks. I 
absolute like I love hemorrhoids, but I really love necro drunks. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I truly, I really, really love hemorrhoid, but I really also love necro drunks. And the new logos, by the way, for uh, Transylvania Recordings. But James really hooked it up here. And guess what? I have an extra vinyl sleeve. So, just real quick, let's just, let's just get this done. Hell yeah. Easy peasy. Now, the surgery with the sticker is going to be, let's see how I, hold on. I'm just going to give it a quick little attempt. Now, it's still UD incantation. I'm hoping I can fix it. So. Boom! Now, we gotta just fix it, but. Hell yeah! Got the limited number. Now, we just need the fix that one part. Not right now, because I did the hardest part. But, back to Transylvania recordings. Because James really hooked it up. And we're going to start with this just banger right here. I have this on cassette. I love it. And that is False Figure. With, uh, Castigations. I'm sorry. Fuck. Ah, oh, that sucked. I got something like right in my eye. But on white vinyl, I'm gonna be doing re reviews on all this stuff. I, I love, 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 love false figure. Recorded a mix by Greg Wilkinson. This sounds so sick. Hell, I'm... Oh, I can't wait to play this on wax. Again, I, I love this tape. So having it on vinyl is just... Yes, look at that. Ten tracks. Hey, and... And just, I got her into this band, uh, after she got me into, like, drug church, I was like, yo, check this out. And she was like, whoa, like, this band's fucking sick. I was like, yeah, I, I know. Like, I just figured you would like it, and, yeah, really good stuff. Not metal, but it's the type of stuff... You know, I love when it comes to non-metal, but it's not a bunch of synthesizers. Trust me, this is really awesome stuff here. If you haven't seen my review, go back and watch it. Otherwise, I will be going back over this on vinyl ASAP. Next up, dude, I've been looking forward to this one. Since I heard the, the demo, uh, again, I should have got, wait, I think it's like right in front of me, right? Ah, no, that's, uh, another Transylvania recordings release, though, but, uh, Mutate, it's badass. I thought it was right here, but it is, no, no, that's where, uh, the first Molten is. Who I will, you know what, let's do Molten first, because we have the full length. This was Dystopian Syndrome, which also was a full length, nine tracks. Threshing Death Metal. So, Dystopian Syndrome, and... We 
we have Malicide. Again, I've yet to hear of this. It looks badass. Forget what color it is. Rio, dude, I'm so proud though. Of James and Transylvania recordings moving like to vinyl. Like I really want to get that Torture Tomb LP. I fucking love that band. Like really heavy duty, like shit. Oh yeah. I love the art here as well. It's really sick. Like Again, I'm really looking forward to this because I, I liked their last release a lot. And hearing like really good thrash and death metal is hard because most bands just jock Demolition Hammer and it's like, I guess it's good, but I'd rather listen to Demolition Hammer. But some bands do it their own way and Molten happened to be one of those. Again, I'm not sure with the color and whatnot. Some kind of marble. Awesome. But some sick thrashing death metal. Sick shit. Heavy duty LP. Look at the cover art. And the back cover art. Gorgeous. Like legit. That's fucking awesome. Transylvanian recordings, just crushing it. I really should have grabbed my cassette copy of this next release of the, the demo material. Because you might be like, I remember that band. Vomit Rot. And Amidic Imperfections. I meant, uh, Mephet. Ah, Sorry. I fucked up. A medic imprecations. My bad, but holy shit. Just look at this. Wait till you see the promo photos and wait until you hear this. If you missed my first video on Vomit Rock. Highly suggest looking it up. Just real quick. I swore it was right around my feet, but I was wrong. Well, I found my non so vile tape. It was upside down. Stupid shit. I do the dumbest stuff sometimes. But, amidic imprecations. Look at that. And look at this promo photo. Yeah. You are getting some disgusting, top shelf, rotten death metal here. It is awesome. We have Rotted Vomiter on Vomit, Bludgeoner of Barbed Wire, and Puke. Cave Belcher with Vomit Hammers of Rotten Skins and Vomit Troth with Vomit Gurgler and Subsonic Puke. VGDK. Hell yes. And look at out. Wait till you see this actual LP. It's just as filthy as... Look at that logo. Again, I, I wish I had the tape right in front of me. I, I screwed up. Watch, I know it's going to be like right in front of me after I'm done filming. I, I know it's around me. Like, I know for a fact it is. But, holy shit. You got side vomit and side rock. 33 RPMs of filth right here, folks. Look at that. And when you put it, like, against the cover, it's even more, like, gnarly, I think. 
Like, especially uh, in the proper light. It's just, it matches very, very well. Sick shit. That's a, this is a release I have heard. And, yeah, I just was like... So stoked when I saw the LP. I was like, yes! Like, this band's awesome. Amidic Imprecations by Vomit Rot. Uh, yeah, but, but, yes, Vomit Rot. For some reason, that sounded like a, a fake band name for a second. I was like, wait, wait a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's because I was looking at a piss face tape down here. I'm sorry, that was 100% my stupid brain's fault. But, I think we have two more. So, I have no idea what this band sounds like, but uh, this is uh, Leaving with uh, Liminal. I have no clue, but again, this is really fancy vinyl. Uh, looks like a Lubanowski art piece, rest in power. Uh, we'll find out in a second. Yep, cover painting by the late uh, Lubanowski. All songs recorded at Earhammer Studios, Oakland, California, by Greg Wilkinson. Mastering by Nick Bissett. All songs written by Leaving. Like, I saw the logo and stuff. I was like, I bet this is some sort of technical death metal, like, dissonant death metal band. We'll find out. I have no clue. But based on looking at the LP, the logo, I don't know. But this is a beautiful LP. That's the Transylvanian Recordings B-side, and this is the protagonist music A-side. Yeah, that's a beautiful LP, honestly. So, I'm hoping this is not what I think it sounds like. And I'm hoping it's just, like, not, you know, some, like, weird... I don't know, that logo right there just kind of... I was like, oh, man. Please be... Again, don't judge a book by its cover. So, it's just one of those things, like... I know bands like Abigail Williams were using, like, Lubanowski's artwork and stuff, so that's why I'm only saying I don't, I have no idea what this sounds like. Because it could, this could be anything. But leaving, liminal, uh, six tracks totals, total? Yeah, kind of, uh... Definitely interested, though. I'm hoping it's badass. And lastly, I know I'm going to mispronounce this, but this is so fucking good. I saved the best for last for a reason. Let me try and pronounce it correctly. Grav Kavad with Prologue. I hope I said that right. I'm pretty sure I did. And that was Nunslaughter's Hex. Hell's Headbangers, but this is a uh, oldtemple.com. And because my brain sucks and I didn't write it down, I forget who sent me this bad boy in the mail. And I apologize very deeply for that. And again, I see this uh, VD, uh, VGDK logo right here. Not sure what that means, but if these dudes are part of 
uh, Vomit Rot. It's just, that's one of those names where I just, every time I say it, I'm like, uh, I wish they had a different name, but it's, it's, I like it, but I don't know. So V D V Oh my god. Yeah, I legit I I had a I definitely had a stroke. Or something similar cuz this is getting out of control with the stutter with the stuttering. It, it's fucking so frustrating not being able to make it through like a video without stuttering fucking up. But that's what awesome funeral doom is for. Holy shit. This is so heavy. Very curious though. VGDK. It's on both of these releases. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Just making sure it's not like a sub label of Transylvanian recordings. Nope. So may I'm v maybe something Denmark I I don't really know because I swore these dudes were from Spain I'm not positive off the top of my head and I oh okay this was recorded and mixed by John Gordon at VGDK Studios okay. So, I'm pretty sure this is Spanish, if I am correct. I, I'm like drawing a blank off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure this is Spanish, which would mean this is Spanish. If it's recorded at the same place. Recorded, mixed, and mastered. Fuck. Of course it doesn't tell me. But, oh well, we'll find out. When I go over the actual release, I'll ask James. Look at that cover. I wanted to shoot something like this for like a year. But the water around here is so polluted. And I don't know what happened to... the. looks like a cat got to this vinyl sleeve. Like legit, it looks like there's like cat scratches. I, I don't. I don't care, it's just a cover. But, like, definitely a cat or, or something. You can see the scratch marks. Or it's a fucking demon. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I didn't know. Dude, I didn't even realize that last night. But, uh, holy shit. This is so good. Uh... The instrumental track, Main, oh man, so good. Black vinyl, the way it should be for a release like this. Like, um, a couple of weeks ago, I got that, uh, see, uh, I almost said Swallowed, and that's wrong. Holy shit, I hate my fucking goddamn fucking brain. No, I'm almost 40 minutes into today's video. This should not be this long to begin with. And I can't remember. Parasitic Records, Funeral Doom, has the Grim Reaper on the cover. I just went over it. It's... Holy shit, why can't I remember? And like, my knee hurts so bad, I don't want to have to bend down. Like, there's my Sabbat. Fuck. I'm sorry, James, everyone. This is just going to bug the shit out of me. And I have a feeling I didn't even put it away. There's Swallow, Lunatarial, Snent, True Iron Will, Varifer. Oh my god, I knew this was going to fucking happen. Like, I, I legit, I, I fucking knew it. How do you draw blanks like this, you dumb shit? 
Like, legit, you have no idea how frustrating this is. Like, 40 minutes in, and I can't remember this stupid fucking Funeral Doom name. And it's, like, important, too. Like, because it's kind of similar, but not really. But I can't remember. Just really heavy-duty vinyl. Super sick. Again, I'm guessing they are from Spain. Based on the uh, Vomit Rot release, but not positive. But I do think it's sick that if they are all recording at this studio, that it's has it, it has its own like you know. This is so frustrating. Lay logo. Jesus Christ, I couldn't even almost say, I wanted to say label. Like, it's so just, I'm sorry you're seeing this. This isn't, but this is why I get mad when people are like, oh, what are you, you know, like, like when people call me like the R word, like, Like, I legit, this is so fucking embarrassing. Like, all, this was a collection up. This should have been 20 minutes. I got so off topic that, like, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I need to, like, figure something out. I, I, pr I probably should go to the hospital. Like, I'm not even being dramatic. Something's wrong. I mean, I fucked up on that blood incantation review and was calling the record absolute anywhere at times because I got note of I I know I knew I screwed up, but I didn't know how bad I screwed up until I was like, "You gotta be kidding me! Like, no way, I screwed up that bad." And then when I rewatched it, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Like, no, how did I fuck this up? And it's just like this. I'm sorry that this is 42 minutes. It should not be 42 minutes for me to go over to this. I don't know how I fucked this up. Like, I, I don't know why I, the only band's name that keeps coming in my head is Swallowed. And it's not Swallowed. Like, and I know if I go and look on it, it won't save today's video. If I go and stand up, my knee's gonna buckle. Just one of those things. I'm sorry. Like, I legit, I fucking apologize to anyone watching this James of Transylvania recordings. Again, I, I should know what viewer sent me the Nunslaughter tape. It, it, totally... Like... I don't know what to do. But... I... It, if this doesn't save, fuck my life. But I have to figure this out. Or it will bother the shit out of me. Parasitic Records, Vinyl, oh come on, nine pages, wait, it's an ABC order, right, please don't be sold out, don't be sold out, don't be sold out, because it's, it's only $10, oh, oh my god, Symptom, Caverns of Catabasis LP, Second full length from this crushing U.S. Death Doom band, double-sided, insert, black vinyl, limited to 300 copies, $10 on sale through Parasitic Records. That's all I wanted to say, because that's what this reminds me of. Dark, heavy, funeral doom. 
slash death doom done so goddamn well. Dark as fuck. Grav Kavad Prologue. Killer. Killer. Gloom and Doom. So, we have this bad boy. Vomit Rot. Amidic Imprecations. Nunslaughter Hex. Leaving. Liminal. Molten. Malicide. And false figure. Castigations. Transylvanian recordings. And Old Temple. And again, the prize packages just keeps getting sicker. But I took up too much time already. I apologize. Also, if you dig Nun Slaughter, you have to check out The Spawn of Satan. Like, you have to. It's essential. Good shit. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Sorry, I kind of had a little episode. It's just, it's been happening a lot recently, and... Holy shit, I'm looking at the 12 inch right now that I was just like bugging out about that it wasn't where it should be. It's right next to my copy of Swallowed. God damn it. But thank you to James at Transylvanian Recordings. By the way, use this one. Serious fucking 100% go with it. Sick as hell. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Sorry once again. I hate when that shit happens. But the fact that it's on video. I hope you kind of understand. Like I have no control over these episodes. But they're fucking scary. See, uh, uh, it's happening. Like, just it, I don't know what's going on, and it's like legit fucking freaking me out. Like I, I, I can't even close out. So thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. I'm gonna figure out what the fuck is going on with myself. Join the Patreon, support the channel. Let's fucking do this shit so we can make. This month's prize is the best ever so far on the channel. Peace, hails, best of luck, infernal hails, and gratitude again to James at Transylvania Recordings and everyone watching and who has ever sent a cassette, anything to the channel. You fucking rule, infernal hails, peace, bye. And I'm sorry again about that episode.